Now our person of the week. And Mahir, this time I'll start with you. Um, I touched on this a little bit early in the segment, but Novak Djokovic, given his given his 20th win, and as I mentioned, the PTPA's role going forward in the future of the sport, um, I he definitely has is my person of the week. Abe, I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm going to take a few people. I've got LeBron James, I got Maverick Carter, Ryan Coogler, and the rest of the producers on Space Jam. I think, you know, we haven't seen a mega sports movie like this in how long, right? Maybe since 96 when the first Space Jam came out is, you know, Warner has over 200 merchandise collaborations. Nike's the obvious one, but you have Crocs in there. You have cereals, you have Kraft Mac and cheese. You're going to see Space Jam everywhere. And I think that they're going to knock it out of the park. It's an advertisement. It is, it is indeed, here. It is an advertisement, and it is going to be everywhere. Well, my person of the week is sports agent Don Yee, and it's not for anything Don did recently or any major player deals, but more about his foresight, because in January of 2018, Don Yee stressed to me time and again and told me that the most intriguing personality in all of sports business was Shohei Otani. And that was just when Otani had signed with the Los Angeles Angels from Japan. And Don Yee told me Otani was going to be amazing to watch and that he would influence young people around the world as to what is possible by being a two-way player. He also said it was inspiring to see such talent coming from the Asian community. Here we are three years later, and Yee's spot-on prediction makes him my person of the week and comes at a time as we need to to celebrate the contributions of Asian Americans who are facing such violence, threats, and hate from all over society. So Don Yee, good work in being so forward thinking. 